Everybody's a big dog. So I'm still in my warehouse today. I actually uh, forgot my keys. So I can't put nothing away. But uh, anyhow, going through this last little bit of stuff. About uh, six months ago, I was delivering the mail and I come across this yard sale and I happened to stop and just take a quick look and I put some stuff aside and after I got done work that day, I went back and I bought it and uh, me and the lady and her daughter, which helps her get the yard sale together, uh, I gave her my number, exchange number, so if they ever came across something or they had another yard sale, I would come check out more stuff. So I made arrangements to go see her last night, which was Tuesday, and I pulled some stuff together and I bought it. So let's get into what I have. Plus, I'm, I went there again today with a buddy to show him what she had, and I'm going back Friday with him and another guy, and maybe maybe a third guy, probably like four of us, and going to go through more of what she has. She's got so much stuff, you just don't know what she has. So I buy little weird things. So I found this old doll. Mommy's having a baby. It's actually a mommy doll. She actually has a baby. So, what year is this? It's made by Tyco. And basically, she wears a dress. It looks like she's pregnant. Shows her belly. And then the belly flops up. And there's actually a baby in here. Don't look. And the baby pops out. Crazy, right? Toys back then. So, I saw this and she had a really cheap price on it. So I decided I'm gonna buy it because at toy shows, stuff like this, the old ladies and, and people that had these, they love this stuff. So, that's probably gonna go to a toy show soon. Also, while I was there, she, uh, about a, like I said, six months ago, I did a Barbie lot video, bunch of Barbies. Well, this is the same yard sale. So she has so many yard sale, uh, Barbies. So I like to buy oddball Barbies or anything with, uh, with, uh, advertisement like the Harley Davidson one I have here. And it's a really, really cool. So Harley Davidson collectors like this stuff to put on their shelf. Uh, or anything it's kind of cool and also she had a Dolly Parton Barbie so I bought this she has another one of these I don't know if I'm going to go back and get a second one or not but I got one also anything that is uh, holiday related does really well in the store so this is Target Special Edition uh, of a Halloween Barbie and Ken. It's kind of cool. So, also when I bought them Barbies a while back, I bought some of these Baywatch dolls. And I bought Pamela Anderson and, there's three of them total. So I, I bought uh, Lieutenant Stephanie and, and CJ Parker and then it, today, I found this one, so I went ahead and uh, picked this one up. So I have all three of them, the whole the whole set of these three. So David Hasselhoff, don't hassle the Hoff. So uh, also people like advertisement again, like I said. So the bobblehead big boy. Someone just asked me if I had a big boy. I, I thought I did, but obviously it's not there. I can't find it. So. She had these, so I bought two of them. So, if you're on, on this channel and, and you are the one that asked me for a big boy bobblehead or anything big boy related, I do have some now. So, this, I get it out nicely. It's a Tyco piece, Talking Bugs Bunny. 
So I really like this. I thought it was cool. Uh, it is old stock. Uh, it doesn't work. Probably needs batteries. But you had three different ones. So you got Marvin Martian, the Tasmanian Devil, and the Bugs himself, which as we go through that stuff, I'm hoping to find the other three. Because she said she used to buy things where she kept the line together. So if there was five in a set, she bought all five. There was three, she bought three. So, what else? This is in the box, Masters of Racing, Richard Petty stock car. Now, man, back in the day, it was only $3.25. It's probably about 20 bucks, 25 bucks right now. Maybe more. So you can cut out the dotted lines, have a flagger and a lap counter. So, not bad. It is 80s, but very, very good shape. The box is in great shape, very, very good shape. So what else did I get? Got this carded uh, Joker van. I gotta do some research on this. See what it's actually worth. But, uh, pretty nice. Card's a little, little bent on the corners, but all in all, not too bad. So, I've seen this, uh, Talking Tommy. She said it's a baby monitor. Uh, there was another piece to it, but just anything Rugrats, people like Rugrats. So, Tommy, I thought was pretty cool. Now, I don't know what this is. I have an idea that it's strawberry shortcake. I could 100% be wrong, but it looks like a strawberry shortcake because knowing the size of the strawberry shortcake dolls, that's perfect saddle for their little body. So, the uh, only problem that I found, I had a sticker on his face. Pulled the sticker off and it's someone written marker $10. So, I don't know if I'll be able to get that off. I'm gonna try, maybe lighten it a little bit, but it's a shame, but pretty cool. Now this I didn't want, Pocahontas. I didn't want it, got thrown in there. And then, uh, so like I said, yesterday when I was at this lady's house, I bought this box. I had these metal things in it, but I don't know what these go to. And had this uh, thing of, Darkwing Duck, this guy, this dude, and her. Now there's like uh, probably five sets of the four. So pick that up. The Fisher Price Adventure people, the real little ones. Now I have the motorcycle that this goes on, the green one. And I have both riders. I have the rider that goes in here and I have the rider that goes on the cycle. So I can complete that as a complete piece. Now these figures, that, that's a Ken, I think Barbie doll, McDonald's maybe. Uh, then this guy here, these were all loose. I had another, no, there it is, I found it. That one. That one. And this guy here, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking Dragon Ball Z, not Dragon Ball Z, Dungeons and Dragons. <coughs> Excuse me. But I'm thinking as Dungeons and Dragons, I'm not sure. These guys, I'm not sure they're two. I think they're from the same show. But I don't know. Uh, what else in there? Uh, she had this red line. Which I just picked up a car just like this, but green. Up in Columbus Sunday for five dollars. Turn around sold it for fifteen. And now I got another one, but this one's red. I got this little guy, I don't know what he is. It almost looks like a Potsy from Happy Days. I'm not sure though. Uh, this one here. I don't know what she is. Here's a knockoff fashion doll. I don't think it's Barbie, but. I got this green guy. 
Greenhead, I call him Greenhead guy. I don't really know what he is. He is missing part of his arm. Uh, but the head is like super clean. And I've seen these before. The heads are either squashed or, or not really in good shape. So as a parts piece, I picked this up. And the same with uh, Steve Austin here, six million dollar man. His eyeball lens is a little popped. Uh, he is missing an arm, but it's not broke. So if you could find uh, an arm, it's fine. Uh, he does have his chip in his arm, you can feel it. And I don't know what one this is, because some of these, now this is the first edition. The second edition's got a grappling hook in his thigh. Uh, so it's first edition. So. That was in there. Now this here is a, I thought it was a, one of the newer Marine Dolls. I don't know what, I don't think it's super old. I thought it was, it's not, I don't think. That one, and then there's clothes here. And then some Marine clothes. So these are guns, weapons for the 12 inch kind of G.I. Joe figures. This is kind of cool, it's Dick Tracy. Very nice piece. So, that was nice. Here's my favorite, Charlie's Angel. Fair Fawcett. She's in good shape, outfit might need a little freshening up, but other than that, she's in good shape. I just picked up a Best of the West uh, uh, horse and carriage, horse and wagon, I should say. And I didn't have no more Johnny West stuff. And so just Sunday, I threw some uh, Johnny West fig, uh, we uh, clothing and accessories online. Some guy bought it all off me for 50 bucks. So and then, to, then yesterday, I find up picking up uh, some Johnny West stuff. But I'm going to put this guy... I think on my trailer, and then this is, I think, Johnny West's daughter. I'm gonna put her on the trailer on the wagon too, so it's the only two figures I have, but that way I can sell it off as one big lot and get rid of it all at once. Now, this is Tonto from Long Ranger, which they made in two different versions. I mean, one is a smaller head, one is a fatter head. This is a smaller head version. Uh, I have both, actually. And then this guy here, I don't know who he is. Yeah, I don't know who this guy is, but uh, it is an Indian. He's probably got the same build as Tonto, but it's not Tonto. Maybe a knockoff. I don't really know. So we were all done outside yesterday. Then we go inside, and she shows me this bag. And as soon as I saw him, I wanted him. So we worked out a price, and I wound up buying these. Uh, no weapon with her. This is Princess Leia, 12 inch. Very, very clean. Outfits are in decent shape. Just need to be maybe sprucing up a little bit, uh, which I'll take care of that. Uh, this one has the hair net, which the hair net, you never have a hair net with her, and that one doesn't. So when I first looked at it, I said, why is this one got such dark hair? She still does have really dark brown hair compared to this one. That's like more of a black. It's more of a lighter brown. But the hair net is always the piece missing. So, after I'd seen them, then she shows me this one, which is a vintage Jawa, uh, about eight inches. And uh, so this one has the gun, has his cape. I always find them without the cape. And the last one I had, I sold for like 30 bucks, but I had two, I think two left hands or two right hands. So when I sold it, I said, uh, there's only two. One has two left and one has two right. So if you find them, you'll be perfect. So, guys, I'm buying it. So he bought it. So, it's just weird. Then I, uh, today, when I was there with my buddy, I had this. I found it. So I said, I got to have this. And this is the sign. I think it's G.I. Joe or Star Wars. It's Star Wars. But I knew that when I saw it. So, that's going to be it for this video. And like I said, I'm going back again on Friday to deal with this lady again. And I might find something else. We're going to rip through a lot of her boxes. Well, not really rip them, but we're going to go through almost everything and try to keep it organized for her because this lady has got everything organized nice. I mean, it just 
her daughter's a teacher and she keeps everything organized like when she puts it on her shelf at the school for the kids so it's really really nice going through this stuff so that's going to do it for this video see something you like let me know rate subscribe hit this like button till the next one big dogs out everybody be safe